though it's only been a few miles, rain has picked up, the temperature has plummeted. Well, I don't want to say plummeted, but it is, I'd say, in the 50s, easily, if not uh, high 40s. It's gotten cold out. And uh, we're at 6204 elevation. I didn't realize we were that high up. I just happened to glance up a minute and go and see it. Definitely some beautiful country. Even in the rain. I figured I'd catch a couple of minutes of this. definitely off the beaten path. Or we're on the beaten path, but <laughs> we're off the well uh, well no what's the well traveled path. Cap Capitan. I've said this before. Uh, you know, my GPS, give or take a thousand foot, or not a thousand, a hundred foot elevation. Smoky Bear Museum closed. Why am I not surprised? Mama Bear RV Park. It's 
Smoky Bear's restaurant. Closed. Closed. Smoky Bear Motel. Gas station. I wonder what gas prices are here. I don't need gas, but. Not too bad, 339 for being as far off the well-traveled roads. Car is Zozo. if there's a town with more than 50 people there's a family dollar or dollar general <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter what your rig is, you know, if it works for you, um, go for it. I will say this, though, I've seen a lot of uh, women travelers by themselves, which, you know, hey, it doesn't matter to me, you know, who, who you are, what you do, where your plumbing is. You know, if you want to go explore, go explore. But it's just, you know, I've not seen as many before. Um, half, half the people at the campground, I say that last night, were solo women travelers. Uh, one lady was in a uh, Subaru in Presna. She had a mountain bike strapped to the back and she got there she went uh, biking uh, there was an, uh, I don't want to say couple because I don't I don't know if they were a couple but two two younger women traveling together that had a uh, forerunner going a smaller camper and there was another woman and a couple of dogs and a van so you know that's pretty cool get out there explore have fun Let it go to the 10 minute mark and cut this one off. Cut this one off. And then we'll catch you guys a little bit later. So we've got another, about another minute and a half here. Ish. Winds died down a little bit. I mean, it's still blowing, but not as bad as it was earlier. Rain's picking up though. And I don't see it in good. I don't see blue skies any direction anymore. We're just past 6,500 feet elevation. Probably based upon this hill we're getting ready to climb, it's going to be 66, 67. And I do believe. That might be the highest that we've been so far since we started doing the YouTube channel. I think uh, at five something, maybe right at six was as high as we got on the trail. I don't know, I'll have to go back and check. But uh, I think on this trip we'll be hitting close to seven, eight maybe. I don't know. Gap 66. Sixty-six fifty is the top here. Alright guys, we're ready to get ready to hit the 10 minute mark, so we'll catch you guys here in a little bit. And we're back again. Um, this has been
been about 20, 25 minutes since the other video. We actually got all the way up to 6,900 feet and some change. And it uh, looks like we're driving out the other side of the storm. Um, see sunshine and blue clouds up there to the left. So, and some mountain ranges. I don't know if we're going around them or over them. Yeah, it's definitely lightening up on the rain a little bit. Let me slow the wiper down. I don't want to hypnotize you. Yes, subscribe. Don't invite all your friends. <laughs> Sorry, bad joke. But anyways, yeah, big open valley. Um, valley of the Fires is close by here. Um, signs have closed. But, get out of this rain. Gave Ryu a little bath. Washed her up a little bit. Now there's, there's still dirt and mud on her from uh, Trans American Trail. Just a quick little update. Catch you guys later.